as I recall, it was people felt that the regulatory process was uh, was bifurcated. It was split between the energy side of stuff with the ERCB and the in today's world, it's a data play. Uh, it, the the energy side had exceptional uh, public domain information on all of the wells that have ever been drilled in Alberta. You can't find that in America. It doesn't exist, right? There's no public domain for that data, uh, or that none of that is in the public domain. And then on the environment side, there was also environmental regulation, and people felt it was an awkward and a, um, uh, uh, you know, a split authority over you know, whether or not and how you do stuff, how you regulate the energy industry. And that was, led to inefficiencies, it led to delays, um, and it led to um, not getting the best outcome always too. So people felt that this, that was my understanding coming to this as a new minister. What I saw in it was, it made a lot of sense to put all the science in one place to get all the data in one place and then use that to, to pursue the, the public interest and get the public interest. My view always was um, that our, your role in public life is not to manage various private interests. Your role is to identify what is the public interest and to pursue the public interest relentlessly. Um, did I always accomplish that? Probably not, but that was my North Star. That was what I was trying to accomplish. And I saw in this initiative the opportunity to really create an efficient entity, but designed in such a way that as needs evolved, the two ministers that are responsible for the AER could establish new directives to it. Having come from having just been chair of Alberta Health Services for four years and established the, what was the, the largest, most complicated uh, agency in the country, uh, I had a pretty strong view about how governance should work. And this was also uh, creating a new governance model as well with the, a, uh, with the AER. So under the old model, the ERCB um, would be, uh, uh, the board also sat as, as technical, uh, um, technical players. They actually also sat on the files and, and gave judgment about that. And so the new regulator, we put a lot of thought into how the, the governance should work and we established an independent board that ran things, just basically ran things. Then you had a panel of professionals who would be the, they would provide the, the sub substantive analysis of files. Um, and then you'd have, under the reporting to the board, you'd have a group of administrators of the, of the system. It cleaned it up a lot. It made it a lot, it brought it into the, our more modern world of governance. And in fact, the Canadian energy regulator, I believe, was modeled on what we had done in Alberta. Mm -hmm.